Is Earth being watched by something not of this world? You now say this is not only an alien spaceship, but it's nuclear powered? Why are you saying that? The signal lasted for only 11 seconds. It was a complex, repeating pattern that pulsed out from the direction of Comet 3I Atlas, just as NASA's Parker Solar Probe was recalibrating its instruments. For months, the world had been fascinated by this comet, an object whose magnetic field was doing the impossible, shielding itself from the sun's fury by bending the solar wind. To put it mildly, it was the astronomical discovery of the century. But that 11-second signal changed everything. It came right before the comet disappeared, and it's the one detail NASA doesn't want to talk about. NASA's biggest shock. Our solar system is a violent place. The sun, our life-giving star, is constantly blasting out a superheated storm of charged particles called the solar wind. This cosmic hurricane travels at over a million miles per hour, stripping away the atmospheres of unprotected worlds. Only planets with powerful magnetic fields, like our own Earth, can stand against this onslaught, creating an invisible shield that protects all life. So, you can imagine the shock in the scientific community when they discovered a dirty snowball, a simple comet, doing the exact same thing. But this was just the beginning of a mystery that would challenge everything we thought we knew about the universe. The story begins with the discovery of 3I Atlas, first spotted by the Asteroid Terrestrial Impact Last Alert System, or ATLAS in Hawaii. It was initially just another faint smudge on a telescopic image. Astronomers classified it as an interstellar visitor, only the second one ever confirmed, meaning it had traveled for millions, if not billions, of years years from another star system. Many people are crazy about these interstellar objects, as they are time capsules from distant parts of the galaxy. But Atlas was different. As it got closer to the Sun, it began to brighten at an astonishing rate. By the time it was approaching the orbit of Mars, it was already visible with simple binoculars, a ghostly green phantom in the night sky. Then came the first wow factor moment. Data from the Parker Solar Probe, a spacecraft designed to fly directly through the sun's corona, picked up something bizarre. The solar wind in the vicinity of Atlas was being bent, warped. It was flowing around the comet as if it were hitting a solid magnetic wall. This was, to put it mildly, impossible. A comet's core, or nucleus, is typically only a few miles wide. While they do have a weak magnetic field, it's thousands of times weaker than Earth's. It should have been instantly crushed by the solar wind. Yet, the data was undeniable. Atlas was creating a magnetic bubble around itself that was over 25,000 miles wide, a shield strong enough to deflect the sun's fury. The thing nobody tells you is just how much energy we are talking about. The sun ejects over 1 million tons of material every single second through the solar wind. For a tiny comet to resist that kind of pressure, is like a single grain of sand stopping a tidal wave. Scientists scrambled for an explanation. Was the comet's core made of some unknown, hypermagnetic material? Was it spinning at an impossible speed, creating a dynamo effect far beyond our understanding? Every theory they proposed fell apart under scrutiny. What many overlooked in the initial excitement was that this wasn't just a scientific puzzle. It was a fundamental violation of cosmic law. It was as if someone had rewritten the rules of physics, and this comet was the first messenger. As observatories around the world focused all their attention on Atlas, the comet's behavior only grew stranger. Its tail, usually a straightforward stream of gas and dust pointing away from the sun, began to twist into complex, corkscrew-like patterns. These were shapes that had no business existing in nature, almost as if the magnetic field wasn't just a simple shield, but was being actively manipulated. It was a spectacle unlike anything ever seen, a celestial dance between an unstoppable force and an immovable object. The world was captivated by the beautiful mystery of the comet that defied the sun. But they had no idea that the real show was about to begin, and the curtain was about to fall on our quiet understanding of the cosmos. What they found next would turn this mystery into a terrifying reality. The Sound of Deep Space 
You see, the universe is a loud place, but not in the way you might think. It's filled with the constant crackle and hiss of radio waves from distant stars, galaxies, and cosmic background radiation. Scientists who study this noise learn to filter it out, listening for the faint, orderly signals that tell them about the universe. For years, projects like SETI have been scanning the skies, hoping to find a single structured signal that proves we are not alone. They were listening to the wrong thing. While the world was watching the light from Comet Atlas, a small team monitoring deep space radio frequencies stumbled upon something that would haunt them forever. It started as a low frequency hum coming directly from the comet's location. This wasn't the random static of space. It was a structured repeating pattern. To be precise, it was a complex series of 11 pulses, followed by a pause, and then the same 11 pulses again. It was unmistakably artificial. But not all things are what they seem. The initial assumption was that it must be interference from an Earth-based satellite or a malfunction in the equipment. They spent days running diagnostics, checking every possible source of contamination. The signal remained. It was faint, almost buried in the cosmic noise, but it was there, pulsing with perfect regularity. The implications were staggering. Was this an engine? A communication device? A warning? While this secret discovery was being frantically verified, the public story of Atlas took its final dramatic turn. Astronomers watching through optical telescopes noticed the comet was beginning to fragment. This itself wasn't unusual. Many comets break apart as they get closer to the sun's immense heat and gravity. NASA issued a press release stating that the cosmic rule breaker was meeting its end and that its magnetic marvels would soon be nothing but a cloud of dissipating dust. It was a neat and tidy explanation that satisfied the public. But for the radio astronomers who knew about the signal, this was no coincidence. Then it happened. On screens in control rooms from the Atacama Desert to Hawaii, astronomers held their breath. At the exact moment the largest fragment of Atlas was scheduled to pass closest to the Sun, two things occurred simultaneously. First, the strange 11-pulse signal, the rhythmic heartbeat that had mystified scientists for weeks, abruptly stopped. The frequency it had occupied went completely silent, a sudden and deafening void in the cosmic static. In that same instant, Comet Atlas vanished. And we don't mean it simply faded away or disintegrated into a cloud of dust too thin to see. One moment, the Hubble Space Telescope was locked onto its bright glowing core, an object bigger than a mountain. Next, there was nothing. It was gone, as if a switch had been flipped in the control room of the universe. It didn't explode. It didn't fade. It simply ceased to exist in our reality. The official explanation came swiftly. Sudden, complete sublimation. A process where the comet's ice turned directly into gas so quickly that it left no trace. But the thing nobody tells you is that this explanation is a scientific impossibility. The laws of physics are not suggestions. To make billions of tons of matter disappear requires an immense amount of energy. A process like that would have released a flash of light and radiation so massive it would have been one of the brightest objects in the sky. A blast wave that would have saturated every sensor pointed in its direction. But there was no flash. There was no radiation burst. There was nothing. Just empty space. What many overlooked was another piece of data, an anomaly that was quickly classified and buried. For a fraction of a second, gravitational wave detectors on Earth twitched. They didn't detect an explosion, but a signature that scientists had only ever theorized about. The unmistakable sign of space-time itself being warped or folded. The disappearance, the silent signal, and the gravitational ripple pointed to a conclusion too terrifying for any government agency to admit. This was not a comet. It was a vessel, and it hadn't disintegrated. It had engaged a drive, punched a hole in the fabric of space, and in the blink of an eye, had gone home. But where did it go, and what was it trying to tell us? Connecting the Dots in the Dark In the months and years that followed the vanishing of 3i Atlas, a quiet debate has been raging just beneath the surface of public knowledge. The official story remains the same, a fascinating but ultimately natural comet put on a spectacular show before its inevitable demise. 
NASA published hundreds of papers on its anomalous magnetic field, calling it a unique cometary dynamo effect, and leaving it at that. The 11-second signal was classified as an unconfirmed anomaly, likely solar interference. The sudden disappearance was labeled a rapid disintegration event. Case closed. But for many people, the story is anything but closed. You see, the thing is, when you start looking at the details, the official narrative begins to fall apart. The timing of these events is just too perfect. A visitor from another star system arrives, displaying technology, because let's call it what it is, that breaks our laws of physics. It broadcasts a mysterious repeating signal for a few weeks, and then, at the exact moment of its closest approach, it completely vanishes from existence. This isn't the behavior of a natural object. This is the behavior of something deliberate, something controlled. It's like a scout ship performing a quick reconnaissance flyby before engaging a cloaking device. Let's dig deeper into the official explanation. Rapid disintegration sounds plausible, but the thing nobody tells you is that it violates the most basic laws of thermodynamics. For an object with a mass of billions of tons to sublimate, to turn from solid ice directly to gas, in a matter of seconds would require an energy input so colossal it would have been seen from Earth with the naked eye. It would have created a flash brighter than a supernova, releasing a wave of radiation that would have fried the sensors of every nearby probe. But there was nothing. No light, no heat, no radiation. Just a sudden, inexplicable absence. The silence from NASA on this particular point is deafening. This is where we step into the shoes of the average person, looking up at the night sky and wondering, are we being told the whole truth? The questions are as vast as space itself. Was the signal a message? If so, what did it say? Some independent analysts have suggested the 11 pulses correspond to the atomic number of sodium, a key element in interstellar communication theories. Was it a simple hello? Or, given the object's impossible power, was it a demonstration? A warning, a way of saying, we are here, and your understanding of the universe is like that of a child. And let's not forget that Atlas wasn't the first strange visitor. Remember Oumuamua, the first interstellar object ever detected? It was a bizarre, cigar-shaped object that tumbled through our solar system and accelerated on its way out, as if propelled by an unseen engine. The official explanation was outgassing, but many prominent scientists, including from Harvard, have gone on record stating that the alien technology hypothesis is the most likely explanation. Now we have Atlas, an object that makes Oumuamua look like a simple rock. Are we missing a key detail, or are we seeing a pattern emerge? First, they send a silent tumbling probe, Oumuamua, to take a look around. A few years later, they send a second, more advanced ship, Atlas, that actively demonstrates its technological superiority before vanishing. Is this a planned, escalating series of visits? What's even more disturbing are the unconfirmed reports from the Parker Solar Probe. Months after the Atlas event, the probe passed through the same region of space where the object had vanished. According to leaked data that NASA has never officially acknowledged, the probe's instruments detected a lingering, incredibly faint magnetic wake. It was like the ghost of the comet's impossible shield, a ripple in space-time that shouldn't have been there. Even more bizarre, the probe allegedly detected trace amounts of isotopes, variations of elements, that have never been seen before and cannot be formed in any known natural star. It was the residue of a technology that is utterly alien to our corner of the universe. The thing that nobody tells you is that the universe we thought we lived in, a universe governed by predictable laws and filled with lifeless rocks and gas, may not be the real universe at all. We may be living in a much stranger and much more crowded place. The story of 3 I Atlas may not be the story of a comet. It may be the story of our first, undeniable contact with something else. And if that's true, the silence from the stars right now isn't empty. It's the silence of something watching, waiting. And we have absolutely no idea what it's going to do next. So, was Atlas just a comet? Or was it a deliberate message from an intelligence so advanced we can't even comprehend it? If they can bend the sun's power and vanish in an instant, 
What happens when they decide to return? Let us know your theories in the comments below. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe for more explorations into the unknown.